or another way of looking at this would be um, another way of looking at their at their at their manifesto as they play it off as royalty is in the days of the royal liberty of Havian Atty Bowell between 1986 and 1996 at Kingsbridge Circus, Harold Hill in Romford, where G- Gary's gaffer got to rape little boys over in Romford, had rubber dub sessions with them with the handheld stun gun at the residential block of flats at Kingsbridge Circus, whilst pinning them to the bed with their butchered ball sacks in his hand, butchered bodies on the bed, with the handheld stun gun up, laid up against them, yeah? Um, right, so uh, a silly good Johnson study. So the head of the King's College um, Forensic psych, psych, Psychology Department at King's College London, his name's Gassili Good Johnson, an Icelandic professor of interrogation techniques and what the gaffer did John Bacon was to take Gisili Good Johnson's studies and adapt them to the torturing of children so what you get is a Gisili Good Johnson study is listen young lad don't be silly otherwise out comes the bottle of Johnson's in Johnson's and, you, and you're gonna get and you're gonna get it in it so a Gisili Good Johnson study from Gisili Good Johnson is the chap that designed all of the studies into electrodermal reactivity and trait anxiety responses when I'm put under stress so similar to to the LI in it and and uh, LE and, and lie detector methods and stuff like that yeah he adapted he 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 devised all of the uh, police police forces interrogation techniques yeah for for vulnerable for vulnerable um for for vulnerable interrogees should i put it like but that's what he he did and john bacon had taken his clinical social science and adapted it so a gassili good johnson study into electrodermal reactivity and trait anxiety responses involves a contorted face of a child they record being tortured whilst he lays him up with a handheld stun gun torturing him in it a gassili good johnson study into electrodermal reactivity whilst a child gets raped superordinate dimensions of self-reported adjustment happen to be when the kids wailing out tova tova or is screaming and crying and nobody's doing anything about it because they believe that the gaffers instilling a sense of penal servitude into a child is making his sex slave torturing the daylights out of with a handheld stun gun scary dixon's gaffer in it john bacon so they think they're the royalty in it head of saxy coburg goffer the gopher the paedophilic gaffer gary dixon the dixons and the bacons um studies into electrodermal reactivity the misappropriation of clinical social science that they adapt for their offensive uh turning it into a religious narrative now when i say they're nazis and they're into nazism his gaffer to set a musical or a religious narrative to the offending that took place there would play a piece of music by J.S. Bach called The Suffering According to John, The Passion Play, or uh, uh, the, a rendition of the crucifixion of Christ in German, Take Me to the Bosom of Abraham, Let Me Into Your Little Angel Sleeping Chamber, all of that type of crap in German. Um, all linked to the rendition of the crucifixion, and it's and it and it has it has a sinister it has a sinister narrative to it. There's, there are connotations to it once it's translated from German to English, and to set the narrative to the Nazi to the Nazi Reich rapings of Romford when Gary's gaffer got to ritually torture children that got electrocuted. They would play J.S. Sparks the Suffering, according to John in German in the background, that sets the religious narrative to the crucifying of a child they have in tortured, systematically clinically butchered and ritually boggled in religiously themed child rape pornography. Um, so what you've got going on with the J.S. Sparks the Suffering, according to John, is between 1986 and 1996, Dixon and the rest of them, they had their gaffer inducing the suffering, according to John. As John Bacon played the part of John Lackluster at Kingsbridge Circus, Harold Hill, Ron for Essex, with the stun, with the stun gun and the rapings and the torture of him. Um, now, Gabby switched his gaffer from being John Bacon to being Jonathan Hart of the Headlands General Practice, who does the suffering, according to John. It was Jonathan Hart that sent me to Kettering General Hospital for the for the for the um, strategic in embedding of the needle into the top of my leg groin triangle. It's Jonathan Hart that's been covering up, not allowing me to be able to get genuine X-ray CT scans of where they've embedded the leg. So there's a cover up, and it's so it, John Jonathan Hart of the Headlands flanking me off in Warwickshire with Damien Griffith in Cambridgeshire with Addenbrook, in Leicestershire, Bedfordshire, they got me trapped here with a needle in the leg. So the suffering is being now being induced by Jonathan Hart of the Headlands, the suffering according to John, with its Lutheran evangelic, uh, evangelical narrative. But back in the 90s, in Havering, as versus to Kettering, 
Over in Havering, with the Dixons and the Bacons, the suffering, according to John, was instituted with Gary Dixon and John Bacon, when John Bacon would have children lifted off the streets of Havel Till, Romford, Essex and Romford, take them back to the block of flats at Kingsbridge Circus to rape and torture them with a stun gun, whilst having the clinical social sciences and paediatric clinical social sciences involved in the overpowering and stupefying of the child victims by having them poisoned or clinically butchered at Havelwood Hospital. Anyway, I'll add this video and, you know, eventually if I make enough of these videos, things will start to build up and hopefully enough people will build an insight, a gauge an insight into what it is these in, in, assaults are instituting in terms of being able to ritually torture and afflict their victims.